this is an Aspen Now shortcut. Today what we'll be demonstrating is how to take this Google spreadsheet and converting it into a report in ServiceNow merely by uploading this spreadsheet. As you can see here we have the stock ticker Apple and we have about a year's worth of data um, bunch of prices here depending on where it opened uh, what the high of the day was low close etc um, over here I broke out the year day uh, month into separate columns using different formulas I just wanted to display these because maybe you're having the same issues too parsing out data you want the year the day the month and the separate columns I used the left and right formula to get the year and the day out um, and then I did another formula to parse out um, the month separately so year month and day using this formula um, into these three columns and feel free to jot this formula down maybe it'll come in handy for you now to service now uh, I'm just going to show you the one that I've already created without going through the motions but basically uh, you're going to come in create a new report just as you would normally I just want to note that the option you would check here is just external import and then you would import the data sheet um, after you select external import there'll be a little icon there for you to do that uh, you have to have it in this format here which is Excel so Google Sheets is great because I can download into a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet and then I'll upload here and I'll just pick the expiration a year from now and then set the visibility. At this point, I'm going to select the type. Uh, for this exercise, I selected a line chart, which will help me determine the trend of the stock. So that's kind of what I'm trying to look at here. So what is the trend of the stock price? I trended by date. So if we open up this right here we'll see we have date created and updated um, because basically what it's looking at is date fields here I'm doing it per date and then I'm looking at and I could also if I want to do a week and we'll see here that it'll condense this maybe a little bit but it'll automatically condense it is what I found if um, there's too many data points We'll see here our aggregation is the average, and I'm focusing on the adjusted close. And then in order to show these numbers, what you're going to want to do is come to the Style tab and select uh, Display Data Labels. So without this, your numbers won't show. The default out of the box is to not have this checked. So if you want the numbers, check the box. And then if I wanted to change the title, um, I could come here and, and change it. Um, so that way the title is different. After I go ahead and save it, um, maybe this is something that I need to go ahead and email to someone else. So I'll click on this schedule right here. A lot of people sort of know about this feature, but I feel like it's not, it's kind of forgotten about sometimes. So if you need to send it to your supervisor or maybe um, a group of people that are interested in it, um, there are the options to do that and then we can select the frequency and then also this omit of no records that means if there's no additional data that's popped up within that time frame then I won't send it um, and then uh, here we have our subject and um, the body of the email also we can select the type and then we can zip it up and then include it with other ones and then if we select one of these data points it'll bring us out into a separate sheet which lists what that data is made up of so these five data points here so I hope that helped you uh, if you found that was helpful go ahead and feel free to click like or subscribe my name is Jason Miller founder of Aspen Now Solutions and we just unlock the power of ServiceNow